The ISM PR 3.0? The Selle Italia or Witkop? Perhaps the Aragon or the WTB Vault? Which one should you buy? In this video, I will be looking at the top 5 gel saddles available on the market today and will tell you which one is best for you. As an outdoor enthusiast and mountain biker who loves testing gear, my review is based on quality features and value for money, giving you the best advice to help you pedal forward faster and further. If you'd like more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description box below. So, here are the top 5 best gel saddles. The fifth product on this list is the Wickop Touring. Cycling is fun until you start to feel some discomfort on the seat. Conventional bicycle saddles are most comfortable on smooth terrain and ideal for short trips. But really, you should be investing in a bicycle saddle that is comfortable for any length of cycling adventure, even if you don't get out all that often. Well, I did some research to find some of the best gel saddles on the market, and the Wickop Touring is the first I will be reviewing. Looking at the design alone, you will discover that it has a wide fit that makes it comfortable to use for both men and women. In addition, it is well padded with high quality memory foam that shapes to your body and decompresses to provide even more comfort as you ride on your regular bike or e-bike. This gel saddle is also divided into five zones to make all seat areas ergonomic, comfortable, and pain-free even when you ride for hours. As such, it is an ideal fit for long rides on different terrains at a slightly tilted body posture. The lack of airflow in conventional saddles will cause sweat in your intimate areas, which can be discomforting. Yet, this gel saddle eliminates this problem by featuring an open design in the middle of the saddle that allows optimum airflow as you ride. Lastly, if you find yourself riding under wet conditions, the waterproof fabric plus welded seams on this product makes it safe for use in such situations. Its pros are, the fabric and welded seams make it waterproof, its memory foam padding makes it comfortable on different terrains, and the design allows for effective airflow. However, the seat clamp could be better as it seems to lack the quality of the rest of the saddle. The Wickop Touring Gel Saddle is recommended for men and women who want a saddle that makes riding on harsh road conditions more bearable. Up next in fourth place is the WTB Volt. This saddle is one I particularly like because the manufacturer offers the option of choosing from four different saddle rail materials – steel, chromoly, titanium, and carbon fiber to suit your cycling needs. This product also features helix padding, which is plusher than DNA padding and 30% more absorbent than polyurethane. In addition to the helix, it has gel inserts that provide more support to your bones as you sit so that you can have a comfortable ride without the normal pinch you feel with most conventional saddles. Additionally, regardless of the option you choose, the rails increase the strength of this gel saddle and reduce its weight. The cover materials on a saddle can also make a huge difference. This unit features a microfiber cover that looks and feels like a leather cover, but is soft enough to allow you to enjoy the memory foam support. Even the corners of the saddle are covered with durable materials to prevent them from ripping over time. Although this unit does not have a wide fit like the previous product I talked about, it still has a functional shape that provides optimum comfort on different terrains, plus the upward curved tail and gentle drop to the nose act as a push support as you pedal. All in all, it is a versatile unit ideal for cyclocross and gravel bikes. Its pros are, the gel is placed in a strategic position where your bones contact the saddle to make it comfortable, its medium level of padding thickness provides plenty of support where you need it most, and the gentle drop to the nose provides something to push against while pedaling. However, I don't think the rails could withstand hardcore off-road rides. The WTB Volt Gel Saddle is ideal for those who want a low-profile saddle that won't cause any discomfort on their weekend rides. If you haven't found a gel saddle that meets your needs yet, well, keep watching because I have more lined up for you. Meanwhile, if this is your first time visiting this channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications of my next videos. The third product on this list is the Ergon SMC Sport. I've never encountered a cyclist ready to compromise on comfort when investing in a saddle. That's probably why the Aragon has such a thoughtful design that supports your sit bones and provides airflow to prevent sweating as you ride. The gel padding makes it plush yet firm for any rider and wouldn't feel too soft for you if you are used to sports bikes. If you have used any of Aragon's SM saddles before, the orthopedic foam padding on this unit is thicker and more cushioned than any of them, making this an upgrade. I noticed that the wide gel pads reduce the stress and pinching I feel on my sit bones when using most saddles, making this unit worth the investment. Also, 
This saddle is specifically designed for men because it has a shape that wouldn't cause stress or restrict the airflow to the genital area, irrespective of your sitting position and terrain you ride on. When riding, I like to concentrate on the trail rather than become distracted by my saddle. As such, I like the Ergon SMC Sports Gel Saddle because of the flat seating area, which made it possible to sit in any position without tilting. Also, the slightly raised rear end with the V-shape gives more flexible freedom of movement, so it's perfect for tight turns on downhill trail riding. Its pros are, the ergonomic design removes pressure while riding, the gel pads are strategically positioned in areas where your sit bones come in contact with the saddle to provide outstanding comfort, and it comes with a two-year warranty for your peace of mind. However, I found that the seat covering is not the most durable. The Ergon SMC Sport is suitable for male mountain bikers who want a functional and comfortable saddle for long rides on different trails. The second product on this list is the ISM PR 3.0. This next unit isn't limited to men alone. It is essentially an upgraded version of ISM's Typhoon saddle because it has a wide fit and cushion, making it even more comfortable for use on any terrain. The difference in comfort between this saddle and most others on the market is noticeable. I've heard some customers gush about how comfortable the ISM PR 3.0 feels, even after using it for over 1,000 miles. And that's because this product features extra padding for comfort on long mile rides. It is ideal for upright bikes, especially when commuting to work. The PR 3.0 combines gel padding and memory foam, making it soft and comfy in any position. Additionally, its effective design helps to eliminate pressure and numbness from soft tissues while allowing maximum airflow making all rides more enjoyable. Although a microfiber cover cloth would have been preferable for breathability, the synthetic cover cloth isn't a bad idea as well and is more water resistant. Lastly, shape-wise, this product is ergonomic enough that you can tilt your pelvis in any position and stay comfortable. Its pros are, the foam and gel padding plus steel structure makes the saddle comfortable and durable. Its wide seat provides better support over the long term and, the noseless design makes it comfortable for any kind of cycling. However, it is a bit heavier than most saddles. The ISM PR 3.0 is ideal for male and female cyclists who want a more comfortable time when commuting to and from work by bike every day. Before reveal number one, be sure to check out the description below this video for the latest deals on each of these items. And be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on the best products on the market. Finally, my top gel saddle is the Sole Italia Novus Boost. I believe that by now you understand that the saddle you choose to invest in can either make your cycling experience enjoyable or painful. Compromising your comfort for a few reasons isn't worth it when buying a saddle. The Sele Italia Novus Boost gel saddle is a worthy investment because aside from having a vintage design, it has modern features that are geared towards ensuring you have a comfortable and enjoyable ride on it. For starters, this is a durable product because it has FiberTech cover material and titanium rails. The titanium rails reduce weight and enhance resistance as you ride. Finding a flexible saddle that is durable and comfortable is almost impossible, but this product beats the odds because it offers you just enough flexibility to find the best position as you ride. It also has a superflow design, which features an opening in the middle of the saddle, eliminating any physical limitations you might experience when riding due to pressure or numbness in your genital area. The dual gel padding in addition to the superflow design is why you can ride on this saddle for longer and more comfortably. Furthermore, I like how the compact shape and rounded point made it easily adjustable. Aside from being of commendable quality, this gel saddle comes with a 24-month warranty. Overall, this is the sleekest and most comprehensively designed gel saddle on the market, and it's ideal for any cyclist. Its pros are, it is both durable and lightweight, the titanium rails have 25% more shock resistance and 15% less weight than that of traditional saddles, its dual gel padding makes it comfortable to use over long distances and on rough terrains, and it offers adequate flexibility and adjustability. However, it takes a little while to break in before you get the full benefits. The Sole Italia Novus Boost is recommended for any cycling enthusiast that wants a light, durable, and comfortable saddle which can minimize road vibrations and absorb shock on rough terrain. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If I helped you out in any way, please hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the trails or in the next video.